guys, this is Marie and welcome back to my channel. I am back after our short break and vacation and today's video is activities for toddlers and preschoolers. Some of these activities you can do with the kids as early as two years of age and some of them are for little or the kids around four. They will help develop your child's handwriting skills, pinch grip, also some Montessori based activities and some fun things that you can do with your toddlers. The very first activity I want to share with you, you might have gotten a glimpse of it in one of my daily lives, is this tub of bears uh, from Learning Resources. I actually have quite a few activities slash, um, I wouldn't call them toys, but materials from them. So what this is, it has all the colors, main colors, and three sides of the bears, they're different weight. So you can use them actually for younger children as like counting, explaining the colors, sorting the colors, also differentiating by weight and size, smaller, bigger, and all of those things. So for my daughter, I use them with this cards that help develop critical thinking, progression, understanding of multiple concepts. And uh, the way we use them, first of all, they are numbered from uh, the level of difficulty from one, to four, this is the most difficult. I take one card out, and for her, for now, I uh, take out all the green and all the red bears of the, uh, I think this was a medium size, out at first, and then we layer them on top. Uh, as your child progresses with this activity, and then they have to figure out what is in the square here. As they progress with this activity, you can also layer them below or you can show it to them and they have to do it by memory. So there is one um, multiple ways to do this specific activity. For now, what I'm doing with my three and a half year old is mainly understanding the progression, what comes next, and also the ability for her to differentiate between the sizes. I also help her out by, again, as I said, sorting the colors out at first, but then as your child progresses, you can just dump the whole bucket and let them pick out the right ones. I shared this book with you guys in my What I Pack in My Kids Carry On video. I'll link it on the screen for you if you um, want to check it out. But this is an amazing book. We've used it on a trip, but now I can tell you that this is absolutely awesome. Um, so it comes with a marker. You see, we're like, what? The pages, they're not very clean. But it goes through multiple ways for your child to use the pen. So it strengthens the pen control. And actually, my daughter subscribed me. Oh, yeah, that was her art, but she had done all those. She surprised me quite a bit on how well she can do those. It, you have to trace the shapes, you have to trace uh, multiple objects, and it also helps you learn how to do them. Tracing, actually, in even in Montessori, is one of the first steps for you to actually being able to reproduce it. First it's tracing, then it's copying, and then it's independently doing it. So, see, this is a great book. I like, we totally loved it. It actually, this whole series come with several other books I'll show you here, which I'm gonna be adding to our collection. It has numbers for tracing, lowercase letters, uppercase uh, letters, and this workbook with a pen you know What you see, guys, I have a whole playlist of activities for children, including STEM, all kinds of science experiments for younger kids. I also have a Montessori activities and it all is gonna be linked up on the screen here. And if you love what you see, make sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and keep watching. So this next activity is actually uh, something I saw on Pinterest and it is uh, a little bit more of a Montessori based activity. What I used for it is the set of beads I picked up in Hobby Lobby. I took the little tiny ones that I used to as a child to make bracelets. Scarlett picked out the color, so it was more fun for her. And I use the back of a canvas. You can e either use the back of a canvas or you can use um, something wooden because the beads need to have a little bit of friction. And then you can have fun with it. You can either draw and you can make it a little bit more educational by making uh, your child uh, repeat the letters, the shapes, or you know, let them show their skills in there. So we did some letters, we did some uh, shapes again, and it was really, really fun. The only thing, if you prep this activity, make sure you keep it in that same canvas because it's kind of hard to take it out. And it can be messy, so it's not for younger children for sure. It's for like kids three, three and a half, four years of age. My kids love Play-Doh, both of them do. So it's a great tool. I actually don't use Play-Doh itself, I use Echo-Doh, but I came across this really cool activity set from Play-Doh. And this can just give you an idea, maybe you print out something, you don't need to buy the Play-Doh sheet. I can try to find them and link them below because this actually was a gift 
for us in Russia when we're traveling. So for example, these scenes come with, you know, four seasons, it's spring, uh, it's summer, fall, fall, winter, and summer and spring. So it um, also has like constellations, planets, rockets, numbers. So anything that your child uh, can do with Play-Doh on top, this sheet I actually like because that comes along with what I'm doing right now with the bears, like I showed you like the progressions and stuff. So like here we would be doing, uh, you know, like yellow square would go in here, orange circle would go in here. So this is a, a great uh, tool for you to be able to use Play-Doh because all kids love Play-Doh in a more educational and fun. So this last one, uh, I picked up also at Hobby Lobby. I actually love Hobby Lobby, Hobby section. They have all kinds of science experiments, funky things that you can do, even for gifts, if they are absolutely great. So it is this um, polymer that when you add water, it's like the longest continuous polymer ever. And it also comes with this set of balls. I forgot the name for them, but if you soak them in uh, food coloring overnight, they become those like squishy balls. They, a lot of the times they put them in the toys for the kids and then you mix it all together. My children love the polymer, which kind of was like slimy, snotty kind of thing, which it was fun, but they love the balls by themselves. So I would say you can also make them different colors, you know, uh, whatever food colorings you have, you can mix them. Take it from where you want. <laughs> take it uh, with younger children, watch for them. My son, who is almost two, doesn't really put anything in his mouth anymore, but you always have to watch out with younger children. It was really, really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, am actually utilizing my Instagram stories much more and will be sharing with you day to day if I'm doing something as activities or um, something else over there as well. I've started using during our trip when I was not able to film the, like a complete video for you. So if you want to check out more videos from our trip, it's on my Instagram stories and like highlighted peeps. Uh, and my Instagram is linked below. Again, I hope to see you soon guys. There is more fun stuff coming and I'm so glad to be back and be able to share with you more fun stuff.